What's up, what's up? Timothy Apollo here. Um, let's talk about relationships today, y'all. I was trying this outside, but it got dark on me, you know. Anyhow, let's talk about dealing with, most importantly, men. Men, let's talk about dealing with damaged women in relationships. My first bit of advice, don't do it. Run. I don't care what excuse she gives you. Oh, you know, I've had a bad life. You know, he was abusive. Oh, there's no good men out there. Look at here, look at here, look here. Don't do it. Do not try and play Captain Saver, okay? Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She want to be... Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Whenever a woman comes to you and she brings those issues to the table, I suggest, fellas, you play that song in your head. Don't save her. Anybody remember that song? She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. <laughs> that was one of my favorite songs. You know, oh, I'm sorry about that, fellas. I'm getting off topic. Anyhow, here's the thing about it. Damaged women are not good for healthy relationships, okay? Because they're not healthy themselves. And when I say they're not healthy themselves, I mean mentally, okay? I don't mean like, oh, she's been out trying to jog and she's short-winded, oh, she's not good for the gym. I could care less about that. But mentally, they're unstable, okay? They're damaged. They've got baggage. Men, you do not want this, period. Here's some of the signs. If she's nitpicking everything you talk about, every little discussion you guys have, she is damaged goods, okay? You shouldn't nitpick any conversation, okay? You shouldn't dissect any conversation, whether you are a man or a woman. Now, there are some things that you should listen to. Well, you should listen to everything, but there are some things that should raise flags, just some things. But if she dissects every little thing, okay, then something is wrong with her. Seriously. Nine out of ten, she's trying to cover up issues that she have herself. It's called misdirection. Okay? Magicians do it all the time. Okay? They'll point something out to you. Ooh, you see the flashy? You see the flashy light? You see the flashy light? I'm going to make these keys disappear, but look at the flashy light. Nah, bro. Don't fall for it. Okay? That's an issue she's got. First of all, second of all, anytime she says, well, oh, I've been in an abusive relationship for years. Why were you in an abusive relationship for years? Did he hold a gun to your head for years? Okay, seriously, some of you simps, I'm sorry, some men are going to say, well, oh, some of them are just trapped in there. So you mean to tell me this, this dude don't ever go to work? He's just constantly beating on you, waking up in the morning, beating on you, going to sleep at night. <laughs> he beating on you. You on the toilet trying to take... Well, you know what time it is. Anyway, point is, is this. All throughout history, there is not one man who has said, I've been in an abusive relationship for years. Okay? I mean, like, seriously, a bitch hit me one time with a volleyball too hard, and I was debating. I was like, man, you know, I just don't know about... Yo, we, we, need, we need to talk, sister, because... And we was playing volleyball when this happened. She was like five, six, you know, 140 pounds, you know, nice physique and all, but she was petite. And when she hit me with that ball, I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute, now you, you a little bit too hands on in a contact sport. <laughs> but seriously, men, okay, don't acknowledge that. Don't condone that. Okay, see, our problem is that we tend to want to look the other way. We tend to want to overlook these signs that are visibly right there in front of us because some of us are looking for a good woman. Or else, let's be real. Typically, we men are blinded by the eyes. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I've been down that road before, okay? Here's the thing about it, fellas. Don't be, okay? If she brings any signs that she's damaged, or there's issues there to the table, then my suggestion is run, okay? Fellas, ask yourself this. If it was you guys coming to the table saying, oh, I was in an abusive relationship for years, do you think that woman would tolerate that? 
How far do you think you would make it as a man if you handled baggage the way that most women do? See, the problem isn't baggage. Everybody has baggage of some form whatsoever. The problem is the way the women handle the baggage. A lot of them can't because they're emotional creatures. They have the, the right to be emotional creatures, okay? It's in their chromosomes, okay? Seriously. Just like it's in ours to be physically strong, okay? They're nurturers, okay? God basically put them on this planet, on this earth, to nurture. And he put us here to provide and protect the nurturers, okay? Therefore, we have to be, we have to think logically. We can't always put our emotions there, which is what I've seen quite a few do, okay? So all I'm saying is this, is that don't let nothing slide, okay? Trust your gut. When you see these issues, if she's telling you, oh, you know, I don't have time to find somebody, but she's made time for you. Hmm. Well, oh, there's no good men out there. Hmm. Yes, I think it's like a couple of million, maybe a billion or so men on this planet. I think it's maybe one or two of them out there for you, sister. <laughs> Trust me. And this isn't a diss to none of my sisters, okay? I love you to death. But let's be real. There's a lot of you guys that come with baggage, issues. Oh, and my top favorite, attitudes, okay? Calm, lower the attitudes just a little bit. And don't nobody look at this video and say, oh, well, the men make us have the attitudes. A woman chooses her man. Not the other way around, okay? A woman chooses her man, okay? A woman ain't got to be that cute. She ain't got to have money. She can have a ass of kids. You still going to deal with that. Trust me. You carry your ass up there looking like the gremlin before Christmas. See what she choose you, and you ain't got no money. You have... <laughs> Seriously, I know that was ugly, but it's real. Okay, so men, again, 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 do not deal with the baggage. Look for signs, okay? The first sign that you see that she has baggage, then run for the hills, okay? Because we men, we tolerate it, we condone it, we encourage it, you know? They don't do it, and that's one thing I can tell you. Women don't do it, and they're not going to do it, okay? Anyhow, look at here, fellas. Women, too, because I'm going to throw a video up there for y'all, but I'm addressing this from my point of view as a man, from my perspective, from my experiences, okay? Y'all need to cut the attitudes, man. Seriously. The baggage, go get a counselor. I've spoke to women who said they've been to counseling for it. That was just a waste of their goddamn money because, hell, they still as worse as ever. I mean, who the hell, who the hell was y'all's psychiatrist? Trump? <laughs> Anyhow, again, like I say, these are my opinions from my experiences. And hey, everybody, Timothy Apollo, like, subscribe, press the like button. Press it while you're watching the video. It only takes a second, you know, so I can bring more of this to the table. Leave comments down at the bottom. Let me know what you think about what I'm saying, okay? Hey.